Welcome to VirtuCommerce video tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll review how to configure a storefront for a cloud-based platform deployment. As a prerequisite, you would need to have a cloud deployed VirtuCommerce platform. I have already one created here. So let's first create, prepare the platform itself for the storefront. First of all, let's create a catalog. I'll create a catalog for some drones products. Let's add a category. In the category, let's add a couple of products, physical ones. I have prepared two products uh, for samples purposes and another one. Now let's upload some images for them. Save. Now, the next step, let's add some uh, prices for them. Go to pricing, price lists, some default price list. Let's add the products to this price list we've just created. And let's add some price to them. Now let's add a price list assignment. Select the catalog we've just created. So it will be the default prices for all customers. Now, when uh, all these parts are created, we can go to the stores and let's create a store. Let's select the catalog we created. Let's pick the default language and the currency and set the state to open. Uh, what we can configure for the store is uh, shipping methods. Let's enable one with the fixed rate. For example, let's uh, and all this uh, and this Shipping method is available after the deployment uh, to cloud. Now let's go to payment methods. And uh, here you have two. One is integration, authorize.net, and one is for demo purposes, manual test payment method. Let's uh, enable this one. Next, we can set the tax providers. We also have here two, two of them available. One is Avalara tax provider, which is in the integration. And another one is fixed percent tax rate. Let's enable this one and set some percentage as a VAT, for example. All right, now what else should we configure for this store is uh, fulfillment center. Let's set some default warehouse for the store. And now we need uh, to go in order to, for the products to be available in the store, we need to add, add some inventory for the products for, uh, in that warehouse. So now we open the product, we go to fulfillment centers widget, open it, and uh, let's add some quantity, more than zero. So the product would become available for 
uh, on the storefront. All right, what else? What else? Next step would be to configure some marketing promotion. We go to marketing, promotions, and click add. And let's say we will create a 10% discount for a drone with uh, some coupon code. We select, now let's select discount percentage discount for selected product let's say it will be this one and uh, click create now we can add some coupons add one drone 10 coupon code So that's pretty much it for the backend part, except for the security. And we need to create a user for the front end. Let's give it a name for the login. It will be required for configuring the storefront. Give a password and create. Now we need to set it to is administrator and click save. So we now have to remember this uh, username, this login and the password we provided for this user in order to properly configure the storefront. So that is pretty much it for the backend part configuration. We can now go to the storefront. Open VirtuCommerce documentation and under getting started deploy storefront kit, uh, you can see this uh, link to the GitHub for the storefront project. Get this uh, latest code from here. I already downloaded the project and let's open uh, storefront project and specifically the app settings JSON file. What needs to be set here in order to connect the storefront to the cloud-based platform? So first of all, we need to set uh, default store as uh, my drones, the one we just created. Also, we have to set the URL to the platform. Next, we need to set the username. And this one is the user we created under the security menu. That's pretty much it for the for this file. Next thing is uh, to set the CMS content to upload the theme there and uh, properly name it. Now let's go to the root folder and uh, here under CMS content, there is a themes, electronics and the default theme there. Let's uh, rename it to the store name we created my drones and that is pretty much it and here are the all the files for the default theme so now let's start the build and, and run the project under is Right, so the solution built and uh, we have now see the storefront and we see this drone category is the only one. Let's open it and see what we have there. So here are the two products we've just created and uh, let's open one of them. We can see two images we uploaded and uh, let's click add to cart. Now let's go to the cart. Click checkout. Here we see some data to be filled in and one of the fields is coupon code. Let's add the coupon code we've just created. In the promotion, we see that the coupon is valid. 
discount has been applied. We also see that taxes has been applied uh, based on the VAT value we entered in the backend. So all is okay here. We can enter some email, let's add some address. Let's go to the shipping method selection. And here you see these two methods options for the shipping method with the price enter we set uh, presented here. So let's check, select one of them. Now we proceed to test payment method also created for this one. And uh, when I click next to create an order, it, we see the thank you page with the discount applied. So all is okay. This is how the storefront can be connected to the cloud-based deployed platform. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.